Hi, my name is Jay, and I will be talking to you. And my partner, Varun, worked really hard behind the scenes to make all the cool graphics that you will see. Today, we'll be learning about water. You already know how essential water is to life. We'll be discussing some of its molecular properties that makes it so essential. Now let's get into the shape of a water molecule. If you ever forget what a water molecule looks like, just think about Mickey Mouse's face. His two ears represent two hydrogen atoms, and his big face represents the oxygen atom. Now here's a better picture of the uh, water molecule. Just to recap, the H2 represents two hydrogen atoms, and the O represents the oxygen atom. Now, atoms are made out of protons and electrons. Protons are positively charged, and electrons are negatively charged. These blue dots here are the electrons. Hydrogen has one electron each, and the oxygen atom has six electrons. Now, notice how the oxygen atom is actually bigger than the two hydrogen atoms. This means that the oxygen atom has more protons, which are positively charged, and has a stronger positive charge than the hydrogen atoms. This is actually going to cause the hydrogen electrons to come closer to the oxygen atom when the two hydrogen atoms and the oxygen atom comes together. Now, because there are more electrons on the oxygen side of the water molecule, and again, the electrons are negatively charged, what's actually going to happen is the oxygen side of the water molecule is going to be more negative, and the hydrogen side of the water molecule is going to be more positive. When a molecule has different charges on either side, it's known as a polar molecule. This polarity is going to cause the water molecules to have unique properties. Let's see what happens when there are multiple uh, water molecules. Notice how each water molecule is polar. It has a positive side and a negative side, and this occurs for all three of these water molecules. The positive side of one water molecule is going to become attracted to the negative side of another water molecule. So this attraction or bond is going to arise. This is known as a hydrogen bond. A hydrogen bond. Another property of water is adhesion. This is the attraction of water molecules to other molecules. Notice how the water molecules of the thinnest tube has the water highest up. That is because the water molecules have more of the tube molecules to be attracted to and is able to travel far further up the tube without any energy. This is great for plants because they can save energy and not waste it on pulling up the water molecules. Now, when the sun comes up, the water molecules of uh, the top of the tube is going to rise up. Because of cohesion and because these top molecules are attracted to the water molecules in the rest of the tube, all of the water molecules of the tube will go up. Therefore, again, the plant doesn't need to use energy to pull up the water molecules. Finally, the last water property that we'll be talking about today is solubility. Now you may notice whenever you put salt into water, even if you don't mix it, the salt seems to separate and disappear. This is because the positive particles of the salt is attracted to the negative side of the water molecules and vice versa. This actually allows the salt particles to separate with more ease. Because many molecules on Earth are polar, it makes water the universal solvent, meaning it can separate many molecules. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned a little bit more about water and its properties.